Welcome to a new update. We're in the middle of a series of planetary conjunctions. I explained them in detail in the previous forecast. It has to do primarily with Mercury, Venus, the Sun, Venus and Neptune. <clears throat> it's not a quadruple conjunction. It's spread out over several days from the 19th to the 22nd. And it could lead to some serious seismic activity in the coming days. We do not know for sure how large because it very much depends on the condition of Earth's crust, the amount of stress and whether or not there is a fault section on the planet that is really set to go. We cannot measure the amount of stress and that's the blind spot that we are dealing with or that we have to deal with. So this is the planetary geometry that we have. <clears throat> Yesterday already Mercury, Sun and Venus in the conjunction and as you can see in the coming days the other conjunctions are occurring up until the 22nd. I already explained in detail the fluctuations that we picked up that seem to mark the East Pacific, that's Central America, Mexico, possibly further to the north. You may look up the previous updates, I explained that really in detail. One more fluctuation did we find that happened on the 18th, <clears throat> and that seems to mark the region from Lake Baikal in the north, more or less, down to the Indian Ocean. And as you can see, it goes right over Tibet, Assam region, China also, and further down into Myanmar, the Arakan subduction zone, the Andaman Islands, that's the Andaman subduction zone, and then further down into the Indian Ocean. We could be very wrong with this because this is an estimate, but this fluctuation marks some regions that can have serious seismic activity. For example, Assam in 1950, magnitude 8.6, and before that, in the same region, in 1897, also a great earthquake. <clears throat> Further south, we have the Andaman Islands, and in between, the Arakan subduction zone, that's Myanmar, Bangladesh, which experienced a magnitude 8.8, .8, that's a rough estimate, and that happened in 1762. So there can be really great earthquakes. This is not to scare anyone, but just to show you the potential of that region. It can be serious. And then we have the Andaman Islands, which is a big question mark, because I've tried to find research that could indicate the largest possible seismic activity at, in that region. And I have really not been able to find anything. Um, my suspicion is, because it is a subduction zone, that it can be pretty big. And we do not have enough data to determine uh, how large it can be and what has been the largest seismic activity there in the past. We know about magnitude 7 that's been in recent decades in, well, let's say in known history, but if we go back hundreds of years or maybe more than a thousand years ago, we have no idea. But I suspect that it can be pretty big. In 2004, to the south, we had off the coast of North Sumatra, magnitude 9.3, which ruptured the fault from northern Sumatra, Banda Aceh, up to the Andaman Islands, but there it stopped. So, further north from the Andaman Islands up to the Arakan subduction zone into Bangladesh and Myanmar, that is still a question mark. So, I'm showing you there are some serious regions there that could really experience great seismic activity. Some regions have not experienced such great seismic event in hundreds of years or more. We know from Tibet, Assam, that it can be serious, like in 1950, 1897, that's only over 50 years, and we're now well over uh, 70 years. Again, the fluctuation is only an estimate. China can have serious seismic activity as well. <clears throat> in general, if you are in an earthquake-prone area, have an earthquake plan. That's always important. No matter the planetary geometry or the atmospheric fluctuations, they are estimates. And we could be wrong. This fluctuation appeared on the 18th and it could mark the 23rd, 24th, that's about five, six days from the moment of this fluctuation. I suspect if it's going to be a larger earthquake, it usually happens after the planetary geometry. So the 23rd, 24th, that could be right. Again, it's estimate. We do, we do not know for sure. This is the data that we have so far. Stay tuned. Until next time.